Hey, Pastor Shannon here. Hey, it was good news this week when Governor Baker announced the reopening of the churches. I believe that the church has been called to a significant role in the spiritual and emotional healing to our community. Life Church is going to answer that call by coming together again on June the 21st. Listen, a lot of great ministry is happening during this pandemic while we've been isolated in our homes, even if we're not able to meet here in this church building. I want you to understand that we're, going to, we're not reopening Life Church because the Word can't be preached, because it has been. We don't need a building for that. We're not opening Life Church right to collect your tithes and the offerings. We don't, we don't need a building for that. We are reopening, and what reopening can do is help relieve the spiritual and the emotional pain of isolation that so many of us have felt. You see, God designed us to be together for the strengthening of each other. We're reopening the church because we love each other. I love this passage of Scripture, 2 John verse 12. It says, Though I have much to write to you, I would rather not use paper and ink. Instead, I hope to come to you and talk to you face to face so that our joy may be complete. You see, that's my desire that we talk and we see each other face to face because we have love one for another. And because we have love one for another, we want to follow the guidelines that our governor has recommended and have the patience as we get back to the normal. We will be publishing our live church guidelines to meet together here in the church, and we will continue our live stream on Sunday mornings so you can still watch our live streams for those who can't be with us. We'll also send out a survey in the upcoming week or so, sort of get your feedback to sort of see where you're at in this process. But I want to let you know that all the information that you'll need about reopening the church will be found at our, our website, lifechurchma.org. And with that, I want you to know that I love you and I can't wait to hear you, hear you say amen when I preach, maybe laugh at some of my dumb jokes or see your hands lifted up when you're worshiping the Lord. I'm really looking forward for the opportunity for us to, to gather again. So keep looking for videos like this one. Keep checking our website and our social media. and We'll keep you updated on what's going on. God bless you and I love you.